Hello! Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a command inside of your Minecraft plugin for buckets. If you don't know where to start, check out the last episode and uh, that will show you how to set up your own plugin. But after that, what you want to go ahead and do is create a new class if you're doing this inside of your own plugin. But I'm going to go ahead and do this inside of my main class just uh, to keep it all in one spot because I don't really need to make a new class. There's no point. Um, so we're going to make this class implement command executor. And we're going to go ahead and do import class just like that. Um, from, of course, org.bucket.command. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and implement a method here. This method is going to be on command. As you can guess, this is going to be called when the command runs. So, if you have multiple commands inside of one class, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is um, check if the command is equal to a specific command and then run the uh, run the code so the command is the name of the command that you specify in your plugin.yml which we'll get to into in a minute so we're going to go ahead and do for example if command dot get name is equal to test or sorry string test then we're going to run the code for the command test in here and then we want to do else if and then uh, let's say we have another command that's named test2 then we can go ahead and run that code in here so you can use one class for multiple commands if they're smaller but if they're bigger I recommend splitting them up into different commands in which case you won't have to do that so at the end of your command you want to return true and this if you return false then the game will send you the uh, default usage for the command but we don't want that we want to customize our own uh, nice beautiful usage messages in the future so we're going to go ahead and leave that true and it won't say anything after you run the command so whenever this player runs the command we're going to send them a an amazing message so the first thing you want to do is make sure that the sender is the player because we don't want the console to send this command no no no. Mm -hmm, no 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 we do not want that so we're gonna go ahead and do if the sender is an instance of and we're going to do player so if the sender is an instance of a player then we want to do this so we're going to do sender dot send message and then we're going to send them a, a, ch a colored message so we're going to do chat color dot translate alternate color codes and then we're going to put the ampersand because that's what the default color code uh, character is so we're going to put a nice beautiful colored message in red saying the command works and after that you want to return true and uh, we don't need to do this in this case just because it's only one if statement but once you reach the end of your code if there is more code that under that but uh, you want to break what you do is return true in case you didn't know that but you should if you're watching this because this is not a basic tutorial I just thought I would throw that out there though so after that we're done with this part that is we're not done completely yet so we want to define this command to the server how do we tell the command or the server this command exists well the uh, the server actually registers all the commands for us so all we have to do is put them right here in our plugin.yml so we're going to have another section called commands and then this is the part I was talking about earlier the name of your command so we're gonna have this command name test so we're gonna put test right here and under here you can have many 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 things descriptions aliases uh, that's all I can think of but you can have other things here too um, we're just gonna put a description 
and we're going to have it say this is a test command that we made from scratch and then after that we're going to put an Elias I think you have to put Elias is actually and then put two little braces right here or brackets and then inside of here we're going to have our Elias so if we want to put test command as an Elias we can also run that so in here in our on enable we're going to tell the server where our code is for our command so this is the, co the class that you made that implements command executor what you want to do is pass an instance of this class to the server so this is how we do this first we have to get the command since we're in our main class we can just type in get command and then we're going to get the name of the command which is this part right here just to reiterate and then I'm gonna go ahead and put test right there and then we're going to set the executor of this command to we're gonna set the inst that sorry let me set it again we're gonna set the executor of this command to the instance of our command executor or class that it Im uh, implements command executor that took a lot so in this case we can just type in this because we're inside the class that implements command executor but let's say you had another class name um, the name of your command so we're going to say uh, we had a um, let's say we had a class named test command just like that and we had that class implement command executor you would just um, I know this isn't a basic tutorial but I'm doing this anyways you would just do new test command and create a new instance of that class and just pass it through there but we don't need to do that so we can just set it to this because we're in the class that implements command executor so it's this class alright that was yeah that was extra but that's it we did it if we go ahead and run our command in game actually we're gonna do um, if sender is not an instance of player because I'm not trying to start up my game it's if the sender is not if the sender is not an instance of the play a player so if it's literally anything else so it can be a console it could be a command block I think that's all that can run commands so yeah <laughs> um, I'll see you guys in the server all right and as you can see right here our command plugin has loaded so if we type in test you can see that we get the message the command works and there we go guys that's how you make your own command this has actually infinite possibilities so you take this knowledge that you've learned here and do something great if you don't know what to do you know you can always look uh, at people's ideas there's actually a form you can uh, go to it's called like plugin requests on bucket they have a whole bunch of people just they're mainly they're mostly trash I would like to get that out of the way mostly trash ideas but every once in a while you'll find a little gem in there I like to peek through there every once in a while when I'm bored but uh, anyways that's all for now let me know if you guys want to see anything else and uh yeah that's all for now thank you for watching nice the mutt's nuts in fact